want to bring in uh, NBC's Dana Griffin, who's got the latest details on all of this. Dana, walk us through it. What are we learning? Hey, Yasmin, good to be with you. Yeah, we heard from uh, CNBC that that tentative agreement was reached sometime, possibly today. We know that this deal comes after the union reached a similar deal with Ford on Wednesday. Now, how soon could Stellantis employees get back to work? That's the big question. We know from UAW leadership that they are planning to have informational meetings so that members can ask questions before they vote to ratify these two tentative agreements. And you've still got GM, the big holdout here for the big three, involved in this strike. And we are told by leaders that they plan to meet with GM today to hopefully end this six-week-long strike that has impacted some 140,000 UAW workers. So this agreement that was reached today by Stellantis, we're told, mirrors the agreement that Ford made earlier this week. And I want to revisit that. So the Ford deal includes a 25% pay increase, and it raises the top wages to $40, plus those starting wages to $28 an hour. It also reinstates cost of living adjustments and reduced an eight-hour path to get to those top wages down to three. Now, the strike has collectively cost these three big automakers some $1.3 billion. GM alone says it's cost them about $800 million. How soon could everyone get back to work? Still the big question. We know that some Ford workers in Detroit have returned to work, uh, but still there's some 445,000 UAW workers currently striking. This includes eight plants, 38 parts distribution centers in 22 states. So this has been a very somewhat long and drawn out process considering six weeks. Several other mem non-union members have been let go, hundreds of them. So the, the hope is that they too will get their jobs back now that a lot of these agreements are coming to fruition. And we haven't seen what that deal looks like yet, Yasmin, but we know that those members are going to get a look at it pretty soon and hopefully they'll be able to decide whether or not they want to take that deal. So, so Ford check, Stellantis halfway check, possibly um, on the way to getting um, done. GM kind of still this this outlier here. I, I know, as you quoted, still some of the leaders out. at GM, obviously, and the leaders at the unions as well, are they hoping the momentum from Ford and possibly Stellantis will help propel um, forward uh, an agreement with GM in the coming days? Exactly. And, and and we've seen that here here in Los Angeles with the writer strike, you know, that prompted the actors to go back to the negotiating table. And there's been some word that maybe they're getting closer to a deal. So this is likely going to put some pressure on GM to try to get on board so that all three play all three big automakers can get those workers back to work and try mm. to recoup some of that money that has already been lost. Dana Griffin for us. Thank you, Dana. I appreciate it.